Like I couldn't even count how many times my my brother shot because I was such in like a such in a state like thinking like like this is my last day on earth. Former Cardinal Newman football star and NFL player Travis Rudolph's brother testified today about the night Rudolph shot a man to death and wounded another outside the Rudolph family's Lake Park home in 2021. Rudolph now facing a murder charge. The gunfire happened after Travis Rudolph got into an argument with his then girlfriend, followed by a group of men showing up at the home to confront him. Rudolph argues he fired his semi-automatic rifle in self-defense. Suji Nam joins us now live from the Palm Beach County Courthouse with more on how the defense team's first day concluded. Suji? Todd and the defense brought its first witness, Daryl Rudolph, Travis Rudolph's older brother, to the stand as he described what happened on that fatal night. Now, the testimony lasted a little bit more than an hour today. Daryl Rudolph described the night of April 7th, 2021. He said his brother got into an argument with his then girlfriend, Dominique Jones, over another woman. Daryl said the fight got physical and Dominique grabbed a Patron bottle and hit Travis on the head. Daryl referred to the jury several times throughout his testimony, saying Travis never slammed her and that they were trying to get Dominique to leave. He then testified a group of four men showed up to their home around midnight when a fight broke out. He said the group of men were punching and yelling. Daryl said he felt threatened and thought he was going to die when two guns were pointed at him and his brother. Soon after, Travis fired his gun 39 times. Daryl said his brother saved his life and remembers talking to Travis right after he and Dominique got into the fight. Frustrated with him because he wouldn't listen. I told him plenty of times since Valentine's Day, hey, you know, I mean, you see how this girl beating on you. She's being very destructive, you know, tearing up things in mom's house and you ain't, you ain't listen to me like you. I told him, I told him, you know, he, he basically being stupid for keep bringing this girl over to mom's house, knowing that, you know, it's causing chaos. No, sir. And during the cross-examination, state prosecutors questioned Daryl's testimony, clarifying some of his story did not match with previous testimonies. They also asked him about Travis and Dominique's relationship. The trial will resume on Monday at 10 a.m. next week. We, of course, will bring you all the updates, both on air and online. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, I'm Sujinon for WPBF 25 News.